Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Cooking with Connor. It's been a while. Uh, There's been some changes around here. Number one, I don't have a hat. I lost my hat, but I got a shirt. So if anyone's keeping score, that would be plus one shirt, minus one hat. Today we're going to be making some super special balls of the meat variety with just a little bit of a twist. I like to call them my bussin' balls, as they do be bussin' bussin' on God on God. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some breadcrumbs or coating mix. We're gonna use that, I couldn't find the breadcrumbs. You're gonna want some sort of beef or something that resembles beef. You're gonna need pork, eggs, some seasonings, some oil, a bowl, a pot, and a pan. So we're gonna get started by mixing these things up together and then boiling them. <laughs> Take a, and put that in the bowl. Proportions don't really matter. Um, to, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you that. These are going to act as um, what I would, if I was a scientist, call a binding agent. That's probably good. Bruh. And I did it, and there's only a little bit of shell. Yeah, you know what? We'll leave the shell in. It's a little extra protein. You can just kind of go how you go with how you feel. And then you simply want to beat your meat. Feel free to beat your meat along with me as I prepare this. So now that your meat is nice and beaten, we're going to be adding today's very special ingredient, and that's going to be fruit gushers. These are really going to give you that gush, you know? Handling the raw meat is quite, quite an experience. Uh, so once your balls are nice and meaty looking, nice and ball, round, you're going to want to put them into some boiling water for enough time for them to turn white-ish. Get an action shot of this. Check this out. I'm not even scared. Some of you scared of the boiling water? I'm not prepared to be a chef. A little bit of hair on this one, but you know, we won't hold it against it. Just while we're waiting for the meatballs to boil, uh, I want to show off something else that's new at the Cooking with Connor show. The title graphic there. We've got advanced editing tricks. Uh, one of the things I can do is I can actually put up an image of whatever you're thinking about right now. Give me one sec, I'm going to get into your mind, and I'll put it right up on screen. I don't know why you're thinking about that, but... Fair enough, more power to you. Now that the meatballs are thoroughly boiled, we're going to take them and place them in the pan. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot. Watch this technique, you might learn something. And now, you just want to let them cook. We got a bit of a... Ooh. Slight issue here. Big boy is uh, coming to play a little bit in a way that we don't like. This is what we call in the cooking business. The meatball is falling apart. Take it off. Take it off. A little burnt, but that's okay. And then we're gonna let it cool down a little bit. And we'll serve them. See what our judges have to think. Good chef, as you know, always tastes his food. So let's give this a let's give this a little rig rundown.
Yeah. All right. Who wants three? Who wants two? Uh, today, returning on the Cooking with Connor show, we have Mac, Tom, and Dylan. And today, they're going to be trying my world famous bussin' balls. So, let's give it a shot and see what they think. Bone apple teeth. What's in this? Just eat it. Also, can you guys speak a little bit loudly for the camera? What's in this? <laughs> Just eat it. Just eat it. <laughs> it's fine. What the fuck is that green shit? Just eat it. What the fuck is that? Just eat it. <laughs> I can't. Bro, what is that jelly? <laughs> that, this isn't right. Ugh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think it's time to reveal to our judges the special ingredient in today's bus and balls. Uh, it's fruit gushers. <laughs> <laughs> really make some, really make some bus in your mouth. <laughs> Truly gushing. <laughs> Going for a little more. Uh! <laughs> oh man. Gushers. Yeah, it's bussin'. Oh god, oh god. So, uh, now that our judges have fully tried it, uh, what would you rate it out of 10, Mac? Uh, probably about, uh, about an 8. Hey, that's pretty good. The you fuck? know, uh, very flavorful. Uh, yeah. Tom, what would you rate it out of 10? I'm going for a strong 7. Dylan, uh, what would you rate that out of 10? Uh, 4. So we, as we can see, clear improvement. We're getting much better here on the Cooking with Connor show. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Cooking with Connor. Catch us next time when we... Eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. <laughs>